Welcome back, everyone, and let's just jump into it. Put this in, we'll get our buff, our permanent buff. You know, you know, you know. Let me, let me look at his saves. So, his intelligence has a plus 10. Your intelligence is one. And cloak of protection, so it'll give you plus two. Because once I get the amulet, once I get the amulet, we could respect Phallic. I could bring his con down to eight and distribute this other stuff. Distribute uh, points to other places. Let's give it to Thalic. Or Astarian. Let's give it to Astarian. Since we are going to be using him to uh, do the magical ambush stuff. bones, sharp jaw, some variety of elf, pretty enough for a flesh prison, if not the noble Githzerai features I was born with. The monk-like Githzerai, sibling race to the warrior Githyanki. Their contempt for one another is eclipsed only by their shared hatred of the Elithids. I'd guess you're no willing guest of the Gake either. Perhaps we might aid one another. How did you end up in the vault? Gith Zarai are supposed to be the ultimate warriors. Warriors of the mind. Oh, there's some physical prowess involved, but the battlefield on which we truly fight the Gake is their own. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Gake. They destroyed us for it and kept me as a trophy. I never broke, but I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole, erase me, and I will pass my technique on to you. Well, we failed the insight check to know that she's lying. Or hiding something. Uh, you want me to kill you? What if I could just free you instead? My people dwell in limbo. A realm of pure chaotic thought. With my mind gone, perhaps my soul will return there. Or perhaps not. Death. Freedom. They are one and the same. Touch my mind and purge it. At the very moment you do, I will make my knowledge yours. Okay, let's do it. Reach in her mind, reach out and erase her mind. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It is tentative and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch. And you feel something left behind. A fragment. It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension. But when you use it, you will see. And I... I see. Alright, and that gives us the Githzerai Mind Barrier. Having assimilated a splinter of the Githzerai knowledge, mental barriers have been erected and affected in the entity's mind. It has advantage on intelligence saving throws. Okay, so I was a little off, but no big deal. Not a big deal. So when we look at what we have, 
Alright. Might have been a mistake putting on a Starion, but live and learn. We made a decision, we stick with it. Get away from that resident stone. Well, good feelings never last, I suppose. People don't slack right now, please. Let's move. Alright, down to the Time general. To ahead. Let's see. Now I do not fully remember exactly what resistance is and nonsense that he does. The whole fleet of Lord I know what we're going to confront. Through this place. So, Which way to with Gale. What do I want on you? Odaluk's resilient spear is not going to do us much good. Nor is Hold Monster. Does not affect undead. You know what? We could at least help out Phallic being able to land his hits with magic weapon. Conjuring an elemental could be useful for the adds. Let's do that too. I don't think we're going to need to remove Curse and we could use Magic Missile and Scorching Ray. We'll use some Scorching Rays to apply some Intelligence debuffs. We'll be concentrating on Magic Weapon and we'll have the Elemental out. Seems good. We could also get Shovel out right now just to add a little a little extra here where's my counter spell all right Would Phantasmal or Killer Bee be good? Would that be good? Disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. And a wisdom check.
put that in. Let's take remove curse out. We'll put minor elemental. And we are going to get. This guy. Now, if I take that off, does he go away? No. Fantastic. So we can put remove curse back. Slow. Counter spell. I really do want to use slow, but uh, I, I, I don't think I've ever actually used magical weapons, so we're just gonna play around with it. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Let's try this way. I think that's what we'll do. So everybody get some restoration. Quite ready for you, Gale. Let's get an air elemental. This will last until long air. Superb. So now we have a plus three weapon. Eight at level five. Now the problem with this fight is that once we get close to the avatar, well, once, just in case anyone has to see, I won't spoil it. We're going to be prevented from healing, which obviously is a problem. Let's restore our spells again. And everyone is still buffed up. Excellent, excellent. Um, Shadowheart. Our heal spells, we'd have to back out to use our heal spells. Spell good and evil. Uh, disadvantage on attack rolls against you. I mean, it just, it's just not that great. Contagion. Disadvantage on constitution saving throws. And whenever they get hit, they get stunned. Slammy Doom. I want Contagion. Uh, I, I do want to play with that. I think her stuff is fine. The Starion. So, poisons are going to be out of the question. We'll haste with him. Once we get down there. And I do want to use my Wizard Bane oils for the last guy. Yeah, definitely want to do that. Let's get going. And we'll apply Bane with Phallic. Bloodlust is not going to be great for us, so we're going to keep Viciousness on him. You have what? Elixir Vigilance. We'll keep that on you. Bloodlust, that doesn't mean much, but it's whatever. No rest for the wicked, I see. You have what? A level three spell slot. Next one. Looks good. Okay, I think we're I think we're good to go. Need to find a way forward. You have protection from good and evil. Darkness might be a good thing to do in this fight. Descend. 
I mean, it was kind of the whole point to begin with. And we haven't really utilized it much. Is anyone else's The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The Absolute is behind this door. Let's enter. There's Duke Cravenguard. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I've played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prism? A rogue, true soul, flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane. The Lash of Bane. of Merkel. An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. No. You, you can't do this. You can't condemn us to death. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. We're not done yet. Just trust me. We can find another way. I do trust you. More than myself right now. Perhaps even more than Mistra. I... I have no desire to end your life, you know that. To end it? To struggle on? It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... Very well. I'll stand down to stand by you. Thank you. 
There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Helm preserve us. You wag your word, flap in vain, Odeling. She is such a tryhard character. Holds the whip. Your shredded flesh will serve us. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. <laughs> He's such a little weasel. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. All right, uh... I wonder what the next move is. Everybody move up. Shovel you as well. Still alive, so that's progress. All right, so we got plus three in the weapon, and he's he's gonna go down quick, so I'm not too worried about. He still has his drained abilities. No way. Aura of hate, deal an additional five bludgeon damage. Okay, it's whatever. Um, this golem bell is not going to work, right? That's not going to work. Let's not be foolish. So let's put oil of accuracy on you. Oil of accuracy on you. That. Pause. Keep your distance, darling. Wizard Bane oil there. Wizard Bane oil there. Can't give up now. A step. My face protects me. So how many is this? Six creatures. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we need a buff shovel. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. Seek and you shall find me. Do I not have mirror image scrolls? What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away. 
absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. And what is my place, Catherick? Your place is to die so that I might finally live. Mm. Let us speak plainly. Please. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired. The one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute. And then, take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. You know what? I bet you're willing to betray your allies. Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. Merkel's he's like a half god. He's invincible so long as Night Song is rotting in his cage. So let's dash. Because we gotta get the night song out. Don't linger. Then we teleport up here. Help action. And she's out. I'm not worried about these guys up here. So we're going to teleport with you. I don't fancy their chances. get some intelligence training on him. Okay. And shovel. You're going to go up to deal with ads. Concentrate. You, my dear, actually could probably go deal with some ads, too. Oh, that wasn't great, but... Here I want to put Bane on him. Oil of accuracy still has two turns. Six turns. Missed. Did he save? Did you save? He didn't even roll. 
he didn't even roll for a charisma check. Uh, us and Shovel will stay down here to deal with any ads. Don't fly away. Oh, come on. Fucking Mind Blast. Ah, oh, everybody's so spread out, too. Excellent shot. Let's get rid of you. Oh, that's right. These things are resistant to uh, piercing. Shit. That's bludgeoning. Oh, it feels so bad. How many... You have five charges? Okay. So let's do a level... Yeah, I think a level three. Like, wait a minute. How did you... All incoming damage is reduced by two. Okay. I guess that's it. Um... Stunned. God damn, that sucks. Now, what can you do? I haven't. I don't. I haven't used you before. All nearby creatures take damage at the start of their turn. Okay. Survival is all that matters. Um. Just. Just kill him. Well, this one's not turning out to be quite so dominant as our other fights, but we're in complete control. I'm going to counterspell that.
Just kill him. What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. <laughs> I mean, well said. Um, let's move away so we can get that threat uh, debuff off and try to get. Okay, nice. He still has ability drains on him. His dex is so low. So let's put a wizard bane oil on him. You have a plus 10 in your next saving throw against uh, affecting multiple targets. So. So now we have Wizard Bane on him. Let's just attack you. I want to lower his stats as much as possible. So let's go ahead and use Scorching Ray. I mean, I could, I know I could kill him way quicker. I mean, we're not using our perilous stakes or anything like that. I, I just kind of want to play around at this point. But um, lowering his stats is going to be a good way to kind of do some different stuff but here his presence has the bone chill effect on all nearby creatures so you can't heal anybody that's nearby um he does have those resistances which is fine immutable form spells that alter someone's form okay so we're not going to polymorph we have no intention of doing that uh he gets a plus five saving throws against those melee weapons your attacks are suffered with divine might. Your melee weapon attacks deal an additional 1d8 radiant. Interesting that he gets radiant damage. His armor class is 16. Defense. Divine health. Okay. Extra attack. Fey ancestry. Can't be a pussy. Alright. Okay. I think I got my... I think I got my bearings on him. Got to press on. 
So, it's a con save, and your con was pretty high, wasn't it? 22! 22! <laughs> so we're going to hold off on Contagion for the moment, and let's not use up our level 5 slot with this. Let's... Put a little damage on these guys back here. Just to clear out the ads so we can focus on Merkel and play around. Um, I want to get Astarian closer before I put Bless back up, so... That will hit him and Merkel. Actually, uh, you can't even make it over to uh, the Mind Flayer. Okay. This will be fine. So that's down. He'll be able to get that. He'll be able to get the Skeleton. Oh, you... And he saved. Important is ever easy. Mr. Merkel. Just hit him. No time to superb hit. Another superb hit. Boy, these ads. They are not doing well against this Mind Flayer. No. Now you wear a face to match your soul. There you go. You know what? Maybe that'll heal him if they get close enough. I think that's what they do, right? So let's get over here. Actually. I'm not gonna get magical ambush, but that's okay. Because I want to bestow curse. And I want to bestow a curse on Constitution. This should work. Please get it. Oh my god, I was hastened and I just took it off. And I just lost it all. <laughs> One can't always be a gentleman. Alright. Can I get a slow on Merkel? And on you. Got him! Didn't get the Mind Flare, but I got him. What should I do? You know what? Let's try. Immobile, frightened, I gotta touch him. Come on. Come on. Come on. How long do you fight for? One turn? Uh, let's do a flame strike.
everything. Despite everything. I mean, we're just gonna kill him, right? It's so sad the Mind Flayer is gonna survive before Catherick. Oh no, Dame Aelin's gonna get the kill. You're welcome. God, I hate this fucking character so much. The rats! Together, we have crushed him! Brain and body! No! No! We pick our way toward our fates! Unleashed! You have my sword, my fealty. Do what you must, then we fly this foul place. Fucking <laughs> terrible ass character. On my way. That was not a satisfying fight. I really wanted to play around with some spells and do a few things and just didn't really get the opportunity. Oh well. death the body is cooling but energy radiates from the stone remarkable truly and now the picture comes together the absolute is neither god nor man it is the elder brain you saw held here by those three against its will the crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. No one's really been formidable. And how can you just leave the astral prism now? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. And what are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The Crown's Netherese magic must be the true source of the Parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the Crown can do this to the Parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese? These Chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. Do 
Do you know who our enemies are? One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the Chosen of the Dead Three. What hope do we have if the gods themselves are involved? Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Alright. So the Ketherick's Warhammer is nothing special. Yeah, we just got our, our standard well, weakening strike, concussive, backbreaker. Uh, just send it to camp, it's fine. Reaper's Embrace. All incoming damage is reduced by two. When activated, you can't be moved against your will by any spell or action, which is great because we, uh, We like to concentrate on things. And you gain a plus one bonus to spell the thick DC and attack rolls. That's going to Shadow Heart. A crumpled note. This is from Little Miss Isabel when she was a little kid. You can almost really understand why he did what he did and went into madness. It's, it's sad. It is pretty sad. But what are you going to do? So we'll send that chess piece. We'll send that out to camp. And... No one will ever believe this. I actually do want to do some looting here before... I know I'm past time, and I just keep doing it. I should just say screw the time. But, uh... I want these these brains from these parasites or the intellect devourers. So we'll go ahead and save it here. I don't think there was anything on that table down there. No. Alright. So we'll end it and I'll see you in the next one.